Welcome to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. The first time you venture into the world of drones is exciting, but with so many rules and regulation, it can be a bit intimidating. Taking the initial step of registering your drone might seem complicated at first, but the FAA has actually made it pretty easy. Stick around and we'll show you everything you need to know about registering your drone with the FAA. Before we begin, hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone related content. If this is your first drone that you're registering, leave us a comment and share what type of drone you have and what you want to use it for. Whether you're an enthusiastic drone hobbyist or a commercial operator looking to take your business to new heights, understanding the drone registration process is essential to ensuring you're compliant with federal regulations. You've probably seen the combination of letters and numbers painted on the sides of planes and helicopters. Crewed aircraft in the United States need to register with the FAA. The registration number for crewed aircraft starts with the letter N and is commonly called the N number. Just like crewed aircraft, drones have registration numbers too. Drone registration numbers begin with the letters FA and are followed by some combination of eight alphanumeric characters. The FAA says all drones must be registered unless they weigh 0.55 pounds or less which is the 250 grams you see manufacturers advertise to show their drone doesn't require registration and are flown under the exemption for limited recreational operations. But there is a catch. If you're flying the drone under part 107, meaning you're using it commercially, then it has to be registered regardless of weight. Also, since September 16th, 2023, all drones that require registration must also follow the rules of remote ID regulations. If you are not familiar with a remote ID, it basically means you need to broadcast identification information while flying. If you want to learn more about remote ID, we'll include a link to a video with more information on it at the end of this one. You'll need to collect a few pieces of information before we begin. These include the physical address and mailing address, if different from physical address, your email address, phone number, the make and model of your drone, and the specific serial number for the remote ID and the drone itself, as well as a credit card or debit card. Once you've collected the information you need, head over to the FAA's Drone Zone. We'll include a link to the site in the description below. The Drone Zone is where you will take care of all things related to registering your drone and managing your information if you are a commercial drone pilot. Once on the page, click on the login button located in the top right hand corner. If you don't have an account, you'll need to sign up for one. Otherwise, enter your email address and password and click the login button at the bottom. From here, you'll be brought to the FAA Drone Zone Services page. You'll see two boxes. On the left will be the box that leads you to your dashboard, and to the right will be the Add a Service box. You'll want to click on the bottom of the box to the left where it says Launch Drone Owners and Pilots Dashboard. Your dashboard will have your drone inventory to the left and the Pilots or Part 107 User section to the right. To register a drone, you'll want to click on the button in the Inventory section that says Manage Device Inventory. You'll be brought to your shopping cart, which should say the cart is empty. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a blue button that says Add Device. Click on that to register your drone. A pop-up screen will appear where you can fill in the information specific to your drone. If it's a newer drone, it will have Remote ID built in, which is what the FAA calls Standard Remote ID. If you have a separate device you attach to your drone to broadcast, you will select Remote ID Broadcast Module. The serial number for your drone is often located on a sticker in the same spot where the battery goes. Sometimes the numbers are difficult to read. If you just purchased the drone, look for the serial number on the outside of the box the drone came in. Some manufacturers also list the serial numbers on the app when you connect your drone to the remote. For example, if you use the DJI Fly app, once you connect your drone, you can click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and go to the About section to see serial numbers for the drone, camera, remote, and remote ID unit. The serial numbers for newer DJI drones start with 1581F. Also with DJI, the serial numbers for the aircraft are the same as the remote ID. If you are having trouble finding this information on your drone, contact the manufacturer. Once all the information is filled in, click on the blue Add Device button at the bottom of the pop-up box. You'll then see a notice in green letting you know the new drone is in the shopping cart. You can now close the pop-up box and look to the upper right hand corner where there is a small shopping cart icon. If you have only one registered drone, it will say $5 next to the cart. Click on that cart. You'll then be brought to the register where you'll complete a four-step process 
starting with Acknowledgement of FAA Requirements. Read the instructions and click the boxes to move forward. You'll then enter payment information, and when complete, you'll see a screen that says, Congratulations, you have successfully registered your drone. You'll also receive an email congratulating you on your registration. The registration card for each registered drone is located in your device inventory on the dashboard page. If you return to the dashboard, your inventory should have increased by one more drone. That's all it takes to register your drone. A couple quick reminders regarding registering a drone with the FAA. In order to register, you must be at least 13 years old and a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident. For foreign operators, the FAA will consider the certificate issued to be a recognition of ownership rather than a certificate of U.S. aircraft registration. You will also need to display the registration number on your drone where it can easily be seen. This can be done by engraving, using a permanent marker, or with a permanent label. Finally, your registration lasts for three years, so make sure to renew it when the time comes. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you again soon. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.